cryptocurrency in general, along with Shiba Inu coin, it's falling and it's falling pretty hard today. I mean, we're down about 5%. And we know with the volatility that we typically see in the cryptocurrency market, 5% isn't a ridiculous move, but it is across the board. And I do believe it has something to do with a lawsuit that was filed against Coinbase last week. So I want to talk about that because these... Uh, dude, sometimes things are so funny. I just, I don't understand how or why people waste their time filing lawsuits like this. But 79, they're claiming 79 different cryptocurrencies that Coinbase has listed should be considered securities. And of course, they want paid for it. Uh, it sounds to me like somebody lost some money trading a crypto and uh, they had to lawyer up. So we're going to talk about it and we're going to discuss it in detail in this video. So of course, guys, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit gets you guys at least five free stocks right now, and then any $1 crypto trade is going to get you your choice of $5 in free crypto. And uh, I think you got like six or seven different cryptos to choose from, which SHIB is included. So make sure to check that out. And you guys get crypto exclusive exchanges down there as well, each with their own rewards. <clears throat> Let's how to start this. Let's start it first by discussing the difference between securities and the difference between cryptocurrencies. Now, a cryptocurrency is just that. Think of it like a currency in Bitcoin, since it is not listed in the in the lawsuit as something that they would consider a security, probably because that battle's been raging for 10 years now, right? But a cryptocurrency is just that. It's a currency. It has no underlying ties or no ties to an underlying business where that is going to go out and further the value of that coin. And therefore, think of it just like a stock, right? I mean, if the business is out there making underlying or making uh, making innovations and the underlying asset gains in value because of it, there's, there's a big difference between what Bitcoin is doing and, and a stock or a security in a company. But a security is either a debt or equity position in a company. Now, there is a big difference there. If you have an equity position in a company, you're buying something that is going to gain in value. And the person selling that security is going to use those funds to further their business purposes in order to in order to generate wealth for the underlying asset. So it does become a little it does become a little gray, I guess, when you're looking at some of these cryptocurrencies and trying to determine whether or not they're securities or whether or not they are cryptocurrencies. In Shiba Inu coin, guys, I see a lot of I see a lot of gray areas around Shiba Inu coin. But Shiba Inu coin at its core is a cryptocurrency. The contract was sent out there. There was no central body that gained any money from putting the coin out there, from putting Shiba Inu coin out there. And, and it's been locked, set aside, and completely sent to liquidity pools. Shiba Inu coin in and of itself is not a security. But it is listed on one of the 79 cryptocurrencies that these people are claiming is a security. Why? I mean, why not? Just why not say all of them? Why not say all of them? That's basically what they did there. I don't know the exact number of cryptocurrencies that Coinbase has listed, but 79. Why don't you just go say all of them are securities instead? That's their strategy there. So Shiba Inu coin, simply a currency. Now, everything else that's tied to Shiba Inu coin and Wellies going out there and using these NFTs to raise money for business purposes, that stuff gets gray. But if we're looking at this lawsuit here, we can see that these people, they, they and I say these people, right? I don't remember their names. There's a class action lawsuit against these 79 securities um, filed against Coinbase. And what they're looking for is damages tied to the fact that these were securities and they're not following the proper, uh, I guess, securities uh, reporting requirements is what they were calling it. The reporting requirements to tell you what the underlying business is doing. Well, that's because there's probably no underlying business in their cryptocurrencies, not securities, guys. 
But, you know, lawyers got to eat, too. And in order for a lawyer to put food on the table and, I guess, fill up his Maserati with gas, he's got to go out there and file some frivolous lawsuits and, and all of these other things to uh, to make his money, right? He's got, he's got to charge those billable hours and charge $1,500 an hour for, for all of this stuff to, to feed him and his family, too, I guess. But if we're looking at these 79 securities, I would imagine that some of them fall under gray areas. And it's going to be interesting how this plays out because, you know, with the, the crypto executive order out there, paying for new administrations to, to be built up and, and look into cryptocurrency further, determine what it is, regulate it further, we're going to be going through a weird time. We're going to be going through growing pains. And Shiba Inu coin is along for the ride. You know, it's, it's funny that people would even list Shiba Inu coin in that category of crypto or in that category of potential securities, knowing full well that there's no centralized, I guess, company or centralized force that gained money and to further business purposes, but they listed it anyway. You know, it's just this all encompassing, let's list everything and then let's work it out later. Let's make it as big as possible so that we can take as much as as much as we possibly can and then we'll figure out what's what as we go along. It's a terrible strategy, but that's the one they're deploying right there. And I, I don't think that, it, you know, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see the determination, but it, it's very strange to me to encompass all 79 of these cryptocurrencies into one lump sum. I mean, Dogecoin is even on there. It, it, to me, it's bizarre that uh, that this would even make headlines, that it wouldn't just be dismissed immediately. But here we are. We're looking at this potential lawsuit here against Coinbase. Shiba Inu coin is listed in it. And I guess we're going to have to see how that plays out. But as of right now, Shiba Inu coin is not a security. It is a cryptocurrency, along with all of the other 78 coins that were listed in this lawsuit. Except for maybe Ripple. I do think they listed Ripple in there, and that, that is still going or ongoing. So it still hasn't been de deemed a security. So yes, all 78 of the other coins in there are also considered cryptocurrencies at this point. So I guess, you guys, what do you think? Okay, what do you think about this entire situation? Because right now, it seems to me like any time good news breaks, the Federal Reserve announced that they're going to be taking interest rate decisions accordingly at every uh, or every oh, what is it meeting throughout the rest of the year, and they're not going to rush into things. The market reacted very positively. Russia, Ukraine doesn't have too much more going on right now than it did before, so that's good news. We got to come up with some bad news, right? We got to shake the tree a little bit. Why not just sue somebody and say that every single coin they're listing is a, a security and not a cryptocurrency? I don't know what you guys think and how this is going to affect Shiba Inu coin down in the comments below. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will buy it at Gemini Crypto.com. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.